Hi, my name is Alex Shalaev, and in this video, I would like to show you how to deploy a Spring native application built with GraalVM to Heroku. In the previous video, we've built the Spring application into a native image using GraalVM, and that was a sample application that deploys prime numbers. I will deploy this application to Heroku right now. So this is my Heroku console. You can see there is no applications, the one old application that needs upgrading, but we're gonna ignore that for now. Let's go and see our application here. We have the same project where we run our application last time. You can see that there is a uh, target application in the target. This is our executable application. I'm gonna run this for you now. You can see this is a spring application that starts really, really fast. And I can also, I can also curl uh, the application and you can see that it indeed prints me some prime numbers uh, uh, pretty normally. So we're gonna deploy this application now to Heroku. That requires us some actions. So we build this application and we package it in a Docker image. So what we need to do, we need to create a separate Docker file, uh, Docker file Heroku. We're gonna call it Docker file Heroku. We're gonna edit that Docker file. The requirement to edit the Docker file is that we need to add a specific configuration property here. Namely, Heroku requires you uh, to start the application on a specific port. Uh, we do that by specifying the D server port property to the entry point of our application. So the Spring app will start on the port specified as the environmental variable port. We need to build this Docker file now, and this is pretty straightforward. We just do Docker build. We say which Docker file we want to tag, what we want to run, and we say what tag we want to do. Next, we need to have the Heroku command line application installed. So if I do which Heroku, you can see that it I have the executable available. You can also note that it sits under the GraalVM runtime because I used my uh, an NPM installation method. So it's just an NPM package and I use my GraalVM, NPM, and Node.js for that. So what I need to do, I need to do Heroku login, and that will like, that will make us log in into the Heroku, right? So we do an interactive login, and we say that this is my email, and we're gonna, uh, and we're gonna enter the password, hopefully correctly, we are logged in. Now we need to create an application for this. This is very simple. You say Heroku create application name and we specify the uh, region. So it gives us the application URL and it also gives us the Git repository to which we can push things if we want to do. We're not gonna do that though because we have built the container already for this application. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna log in into the container registry and we're gonna tag our, uh, we're gonna tag our image into the registry at the heroku.com and we're going to push our docker image to that registry right you can see that this operation is super fast because our docker image is is 90 megabytes large uh and it's it it's the so the whole operation is very simple that is the second part right and now what we need to do we just need to instruct heroku to deploy our application and we do that by running the container release command of the Heroku executable. We say Heroku container release, and we say it's a web application, and we make the application name. Now our application is actually all ready. So if we if we go back to our curl, right, and we're gonna replace the local host here with the URL that Heroku gave us, and you can see that we are having the applications now we can go to the browser, back to the browser, and we can see that our application was indeed deployed here. And also, if you want to actually double check that, you can also go and visit that URL in the browser. We're gonna do this. It's pretty straightforward. You can see that it returns us primes number, prime numbers. So it can give us more primes, uh, just a random sequence of primes on that. So. That is how you deploy a Spring native application to Heroku. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.